What up, everybody? It's your girl July here from Kickback Couture, introducing Reason Compact 2 and Reason 10.4. So, in this video, I'm gonna make a beat in Reason Compact 2. Had to fast forward a little bit, alright? And, uh, basically gonna go through the process of all of the, the new additions to Reason Compact and Reason 10.4. Let's get into it. All right, so right here I am in Reason Compact 2.0 on my iPhone, and I'm gonna start a new project. And I now have two new instruments aside from just Europa. So I have a bass instrument, and I now have drums as well, in addition to Europa, which was the first, the first instrument. So I'm gonna start with Europa, and I'm gonna pick a sound. I really like this orange juice sound right here. So I'm going to use this to create a melody. And I'm actually going to change my scale to D sharp minor. E flat is the same thing. And I can either use the sequencer or I can use the, whoops, the keys to sequence a melody in which, you know, it doesn't really matter. So whatever works best okay cool so I like this melody gonna go add some drums gonna go ahead and turn this down a bit all right we can pick a different drum kit here I'm gonna go with hip hop. Whoops. Done. And I can also change the snare or whichever sound I want to and the visual of the kit I've chosen separate from that. So I'm going to go with this 808 snare, this one here, and I can change the fade, alright, I'm going to come back here and sequence this in. I have all these other drums I can also choose from and swap out samples. All right, let's get this kick going. Uh, I keep accidentally hitting the wrong button there. Easily go back to the right place with this. Let's go ahead and switch out the sample. Alright, let's go ahead and add some bass. Now I was out of tune, or I mean, you know, offbeat a bit, so we can go fix that pretty easily. Let's see how it sounds. Need to move this back. Can easily adjust velocity by holding the note and dragging up.
Alright, now in Rhythmic, I have all of these other windows as well that I can use just to, to preview the app for those of you who may be thinking about downloading it. This is what's in Monotone. Alright, now, now I want to transfer this over to my DAW. So let's go ahead and do that. So Ableton Link is on. I'm going to turn it on in Reason. Ableton Link, which ideally I should have had it on to begin with, but no worries, we can always change it. And now we are connected. And let's go ahead and export this into Reason. We can do all of the sound presets. We can do the sound files, or we can do an entire Reason 10 file. So I'm going to go ahead and airdrop that to myself as soon as I show up. All right, so this is what my Reason 10 file looks like after it has been airdropped from my iPhone. So I'm actually going to take these three instruments, copy them, and paste them into my template. All right, now I have all three instruments inside of my Reason Rec. Here in Reason 10, let's go ahead and get into these two new instruments. Reason 10.4 has added this drum machine. And it has also added this bass synthesizer. Now, part of, as a part of this video, I'm going to give you all a free download of my personal bass collection refill that I've created from scratch using Monotone. So, go ahead and grab that. I'll go ahead and put the card up above. Now, let's go ahead and look at the new drum machine. We do not have the ability to upload our own samples yet however we can save our own patches and we can alter each individual sample that is given to us within the context of the drum machine which is the basis of the reason compact 2 app so kicks snares hi-hats cymbals toms claps percussion and hits and effects we get this wonderful window right here in which we can touch in order to drag it and it changes according to the sample you have selected. And we also have the filter here, which is really easy to see. And then we have the master effects in which we have delay, reverb, and a compressor. Down here on monotone, we have voicing options, we have two oscillators, a filter, some uh, envelope and LFO effects based on the filter, an uh, amplifier, which goes with the oscillators in general, chorus and delay. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish up this beat and I will get back to you. Alright, I am now back in Reason 10.4 and I must warn you, I do have a plot twist here. So let's hear it. Now I would like to mention that you can route these outputs of the drum machine into their own separate mix channels as you please. As far as monotone, which is up here, this is what the back looks like. Some sequencer control, CV, and some modulation inputs. Alright, so 
That is all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. If you're still sticking around, make sure you grab that uh, free collection of bass sounds I created for Monotone. And I'll also include a custom-made drum machine patch as well. Now, I do want to mention that I have been developing the ultimate reason 11 wish list and which i will also throw up above in the cards check that list make sure i'm not missing anything that you would like to add if there's anything you would like to add message me either on youtube instagram or on the message uh message box that is available on the page and let me know what else i should add it's all culture kick back and cook up